duct. Oh no. Oh frick, that's paint. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, I got paint on my tablet screen. Right now, make sure I don't do that again because I was trying to focus. Right now, I am, let me put this light closer over here. I am painting the scene where the crew goes to this portal and they go into like a real life version of the factory and I'm redoing it. I'm basically making a uh, like remake of one of the real backgrounds in this show except it's made out of clay and it's painted. So I thought this would be a neat little segment. Thought it'd be a little bit hard to include and produce, but I was like, man, it won't be that bad because I do this often, anyways. If, you guys, if I haven't shown it before, I make I've made clay models of the characters, and I probably will do some more clay models of the characters, but that'll be a while from now. Let's get this little bit over here. There we go. So, doing pretty decent so far. Let's get this outline of the door, exit door. I'm trying to add some really good details because the exit door actually is like a yellowish gray color. So when I color it, I'm going to make sure to add some yellow, little bit of yellow, little hint of yellow into the color. looking pretty good so far, and there's a little machine right there. It looked pretty good since I'll have, let's see, probably should have been a little bit bigger, but I will. I mean, that's fine. Look good. So uh, that'll be finished pretty soon, and uh, yeah, bye. So I decided to make real life versions of the characters. Really all I did was First, I made relic. I made um, the body and the hat. Really, I just got one long piece of clay and I molded it into the shape of relic, and um, I painted it. Then I tore relic's head off, and uh, I had the hat up there in the body. And then, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just making the heads, and I'm going to put the head in the place. See right here, this all going to come together like that, and it makes it saves time. See, like right here. Um, I make the head. I don't have to remake the body or the hat. All I do is I just like, you know, make sure I don't miss this stuff. I just got there painting his face. But, you know, you just take the head. And you can switch it out with, you know, this one. And then you take the picture and then you have the body. Uh, it's kind of like the original show because uh, in the show I don't usually, a lot of the time, I won't say a lot of time, but sometimes I don't redraw the hat. I just copy and paste the same hat and change the head. <clears throat> I usually do redraw the body though because the body's not that hard to draw. It's not, it doesn't, it's not time consuming, but the hat takes a little, a little bit more time to draw and it's a little bit tedious, so I just, you know, copy and paste the hat. That's all I do. And same thing I'm doing in real life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, see you, in, uh, see you in the 13th episode. I can't wait. So, uh, I've gotten the shape. So you can see here. Oh gosh, that's going to fall. I've got, I've got the kind of square shape. I'm really trying not to get the pipe, mess up the pipe. Cause you know the factory has a pipe on the top. See, like that. That's the behind the factory. Um, so, as yeah. And now, it is finished. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous about that pipe breaking off since it's so thin. And now it's finished. And um, I'll wait just a little bit for it to dry. Not a lot because I really want to get this finished. Because I, I hate waiting. I'm very impatient when it comes to making videos. Well, when it comes to stuff like like making clay. Because, um, I want to, because I really, actually, I like making, uh, these, like, these clay models a little bit more than I do animating. Um, and whenever I'm making stuff like this, I, I like, my favorite part of it is painting, and I really don't like waiting to paint, because I love doing it so much. And, um, so, but I am going to wait just a little bit, um, maybe like 30 minutes, I guess, for it to dry just a little bit. And then I'm going to start painting it. Or I can just start painting it right now. It really doesn't matter. Um, it looks fine either way. It's just a little bit easier to paint it when it's dry and hardened. Because um, you don't have to worry about, you know, when you have to move it maybe to 
to um, you know position it to start painting it um, you don't have to worry about it bending or anything since it'll be dry but um anyway I think I'll start on it right now well I finally finished the um, the factory well not finished actually I still have to do the outline let me show a little bit better I still have to do the um, black outline because just because it's clay doesn't mean I doesn't mean I don't have to stick to the original design so um, when when that paint dries, I'll uh, get the black paint, which I have over here, and I'll um, give it a black outline. So that'd be really nice. And then um, I'm going to, um, they're going to go through a portal, so the portal is going to be kind of colorful. Um, what I'm going to do is the portal is going to be animated, um, you know, 2D, and then uh, like while they're traveling through the portal, the portal is kind of going to like transition to clay. So the portal is going to be like clay also. That's what I'm planning right now, at least, and I think that'll look really cool. And um, it'll give it'll give the whole video just a sense of production value, even though it's made on nothing. So um, that'll be really cool. That's that's the highlight of animation um, with live action. If you have no budget, it looks it's more obvious. And well, depends on how you shoot it. And it, but when you have animation, um, that's very low budget or has no budget, it's obvious. But in like a different way, it's weird. I just think animation's easier than live action, um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now, and when that dries, black outline, then I'll make the portal, that'd be really fun, so, uh, goodbye. And as you all can see right here, uh, I put a fan in front of it, ooh, that light, I put a fan in front, oh, by the way, yeah, I put some goggles on my lamp, I thought it looked cool, but, um, uh, I put a fan in front of the, uh, clay, uh, factory, just, uh, in hopes that it'll dry faster, because I really want to finish it before I start, start on the portal. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. It's finally dry. Finally, now I can start. Finally, now, finally I can start uh, painting. This is the paper towel I'm gonna use for the portal when I'm uh, painting it. But finally, now I can uh, do the black outline. Let's move this microphone. Oh snap! I hope that didn't mess it up. There we go. Oi! God, I really gotta be more careful when I'm when I'm moving stuff. I almost just built that. Now I can finally start to oh, the black outlines, and we'll be good to go to make the portal. Now <clears throat> I am molding the um, I guess you call them like egg shaped things that are inside the portal, because uh, yeah, they're kind of shaped. They're basically ovals. Um, and they, they, uh, change colors, and this scene shouldn't be that hard. Um, it is going to be a little bit difficult to, um, match up everything, because it's going to transition to, to clay while it's zooming in, um, so that'll be a little interesting to, uh, to have to do. Um, start off with the ball, and... Uh, I guess when I start painting it, I'll come back. Bye. And after I um, finished all my clay scenes with um, that involved clay, I put all of the little things I made up on the shelf. And this shelf is um, dedicated to everything Bolt Factory related. So as you can see right here, I have a built. I made like a Bill Cipher and um, a Frederick. Since they both have like a triangle look to them, I thought they'd look cool if I made something like that. These are all the props. Could you call them props? I guess little clay things that you just saw me make in the behind the scenes. The factory relics head, which I did lose the hat to this and the body and Frederick and Forty More. Unfortunately, that sucks because um, I would have loved to have them sit sit up here. This is a little egg that was used in the portal, um, and this is the really big background that uh, that show that only appears when it shows everything shaking the, inside the factory when they go through the portal. That's just a little clay model right there I made. Four, about four months ago and the paint's chipping off um and that's just another little robot thing i thought would be cool to make this i was going to use this in the beginning of the episode for like the little title card but unfortunately i didn't make it wide enough so i couldn't use it but i still propped it up here because i didn't want to just throw it away this is actually fan art um that my friend drew a couple months ago and um i thought this looked really cool he drew a bunch of pictures of the characters and um he really loves the bolt factory and i I thank him a lot for for keeping up with the series and liking it as much as he does. So um, that's all the stuff um, 
that's all. Thank you all for watching this um, this behind the scenes of episode 13. And see you in episode 14, part 2 of Earth.